the beautiful central coast here in New South Wales, Australia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ash and in this video I'm going to be exploring this beautiful part of the world. Located about an hour and a half north of Sydney, this beautiful piece of coastline offers so many adventuring opportunities and I'm here to show you just a snippet of what you might be able to do in a couple of days up here. First up on our adventure list is actually snorkeling in this beautiful area. We are here in the marine park and apparently there is some gorgeous fish around here. However, there's a lot of rock reefs and we're hoping to see some cool little fishes today. Come exploring with me. Oh shoot, I forgot to take that off. Here's a no-go without stinger suits. I think I saw more fish on my way out getting away from the jellyfish than I did actually getting out there. We just attempted snorkeling at the first beach and we did see jellyfish. They're about the size of golf balls with distinct tentacles but I couldn't see any long ones on them but I'm not going to take a risk considering we're not sure what's out there at the moment and we don't have a stinger suit so I think we're going to head on to the next snorkeling spot. That's actually my first time snorkeling off the beach properly with a swell. Not gonna lie, I'm not the most confident so Gonna have to work on that one. Look at our old friend, the tessellated pavement. So the tessellated pavement here was formed under super similar conditions to the one on the east coast of Tasmania. I will link that video up above here to show you guys that, or I think it's up above here. So similar structure, similar way, and check this out. There she is. So when this formed as a marine basin, you've got your sedimentary rocks, but look at your different depositional events. So that would have been in a higher energy event where it can move and deposit bigger rocks. And that's how you get those different formations. Location number two, let's get this. It's a lot, a lot calmer here. It's a lot flatter. The sun's come back out. I think I'm gonna be a lot more confident at this location. Visibility is not good at all. Yeah, do you have your feet on side? Oh, I see the few fish, but yeah, it's pretty poor. Although the visibility wasn't the best in this second location, I will call location number two a success. It was so much nicer to snorkel in. I felt so much more confident. And we actually did see a few fish, including a stingray. So location number two, a success. Let's continue on the adventures. Good morning and welcome to another day of adventuring on the central coast. 
I've woken up this morning and it's quite an overcast day, which means it's probably not the best to jump in the water and go snorkeling and swimming again. So, decided to head inland today. And today, just like on the Gold Coast, we are going to be chasing some of the local waterfalls here, the local area, and just seeing what this beautiful place has to offer. This area of the east coast of Australia is known as Dark and Jung Country by the traditional owners and the indigenous Australians. And today, we also might have the privilege to see some of the rock carving that are here in the local area. These rock carvings have been here for tens of thousands of years and it's such an amazing look into the history of this amazing country and to appreciate the traditional owners and the traditional area that we sit on. Look, we've got some more Banksias. These guys, all over Australia. Beautiful, Eddie. So right there you can see axe engravings. So these ones. So one, two, three, and a couple more there. Oh wow! There's a wallaby. Oh, so they think the big one is a canoe. Oh wow. So this is thought to be their ancestral hero, wearing a headdress boomerang in one hand, a decorated club in the other. They're unsure of what the oval shape is. These are amazing. There's another kangaroo over there. Wow, look at them. So you reckon that one's a flathead? Flathead's a local fish to the area. Here's a little eel. Oh, they've even given him two eyes. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. There's another little fish. Oh, I think that's a pike. pike. Yeah, I think. Oh, that's a long fish that you were trying to point out to me when we were no, snorkeling. No, no, no. Swing it. Shake it. Oh, look at the sands in there. Look at the bottle trees. They're cool. It's so big. These ferns do look ancient. Grass tree. Now we're on our way to one of the Duck and John country's amazing waterfalls and swim pools. So let's see it. Water break. Bloody hell, it's hot. Classic sandstone from this area. Straight through there, there's an acute Look at him. Where? Oh, baby. I've got the wrong lens on my camera. Hello, baby. Can you see him? We definitely have not got the right path here, so I'm gonna have to backtrack a bit. But oh my god, that echidna was so cute. That echidnas, if you guys didn't know, when they feel threatened or anything, they curl up in a ball so then their spines are facing out. So we didn't get to see his head, but poor little guy. Got to see him at least. So after talking to some lovely people and just rock climbing, I think we've made it. I think we finally made it to the little swimming pool. There she is. Oh, that's so nice. Oh. I shouldn't have worn my sunnies. Cold. Nah, it's beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, that's so nice. That was so good, 10 out of 10. Perfect way to end an adventure. And on that note, I think this brings us to the end of our mini Central Coast adventure series. I might pop in something else, but if I don't, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to follow along and hit that subscribe button down below and keep up with all my adventures. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video as it really supports my channel and I'll see you guys on the next adventure.